and welcome to the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. I'm Matt Mercer, instructor for the Pathfinder School and the founder of the Black Hat Bushcraft Channel right here on YouTube. So once again this afternoon, I'm spending time out at beautiful Camp Charles in Bailey, North Carolina. This is a local scout camp and a place that I love to spend time when I have the opportunity. There's nobody else here today except for myself and my daughter, and we're just spending some time walking around the camp. And I figured this would be a great opportunity to get a fire going and cook up a delicious lunch. Of course, a subscriber submitted recipe. So once again, I get to enjoy two of my favorite things here on the show today, cooking up delicious delicious food and a great outdoors and announcing yet another winner for some free Pathfinder outdoor cooking gear. So we're going to get started talking about that recipe here in just a minute, announcing that winner, of course. But first, we got to get a fire going over here in the pit and we're going to have a good time. So I hope you guys will stick with us and enjoy the show. So I just have a little twig bundle here, a bunch of flower heads and such. Makes for easy ignition. Quick and simple. All right, so now that we have a nice fire going, we're working on building up a good coal bed that we can use for cooking. Let's talk about today's recipe and most important, today's winner. Today, we are gonna be cooking up a delicious recipe submitted to us by Wesley Thorgrimson. Congratulations, Wesley, and thank you for submitting a simple recipe for steak and shrimp cooked with lemon and butter and garlic. It's very simple, but this is gonna be an awesome recipe. In my opinion, anytime you're eating steak and shrimp out in the beautiful, great outdoors, you're winning. So Wesley, today you're winning, and congratulations, you'll be receiving a care package from Self-Reliance Outfitters with all of the Pathfinder cooking gear that I use to prepare this one today. So let's get started on cooking right now. So in Wesley's recipe, he calls for a quarter cup of rice. And I just happen to have on hand some of this Nor cheddar broccoli style rice. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and cook up this whole pack here. In the original recipe card that you saw earlier in the video, I gave you exactly the recipe that Wesley gave. I'm gonna kind of veer off from that in this area of the rice, just because this cheddar broccoli rice is good. My daughter will enjoy it. And because there's two of us, I'm cooking a little extra. So just wanted to elaborate on that. To do this, we're gonna add one and three quarters cup of water into the bush pot. I pre-measured that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the rice into this water here. And I have with me my Pathfinder stainless utensil set. I'm just kind of mix that stuff in real good here. And whenever I cook rice, I always end up having to add a little bit of water at the end, so no big deal, I'll just keep an eye on it. But you can see what we got down in there. Looks like it's about the right proportions. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that hung up on the tripod. Let's get that done. And with that, we are officially cooking. All right, so now that I have my bush pot full of rice over the fire, I need to go ahead and process down this garlic for cooking up the shrimp. So I'm just gonna use three cloves per Wesley's recipe. I'm just gonna peel this stuff down a little bit. A lot of times when I'm cooking at home, I'll go ahead and use the pre-minced garlic, but of course nothing's quite like fresh stuff, so. Whenever you can use fresh stuff, it's always gonna give you better flavor. And of course, fresh garlic has health benefits as well. All right, so I have my three cloves of peeled garlic here. So I'm just going to cut those down a little bit into some fine slices. I'm using my Pathfinder cutting board here. This 
cutting board is an awesome little piece of kit because it fits right down into your bush pot. So it's a great little addition to your cook kit. I use this thing all the time. It's just big enough. I think that'll do. I'm going to stick my garlicky knife right back in the sheath. And got my little garlic cloves all minced up. What I'm going to do is just bring my folding skillet over. Throw that right down in there. I can keep that covered with the lid on it until I'm ready to start cooking my shrimp. All right, so I also need to cut up my lemon here. And what I'm going to do is just cut that into some slices. The way I can squeeze those things really good over top of my shrimp. We'll just cut those into halves. right now don't they look so pretty of course we got to give them the old well maybe I'll skip this one yeah I think I'll skip this one. all right so I'm gonna go ahead and take my rice off the fire here because I looked down in there for a real quick glance and looks to me like it might be done I want to make sure I don't overcook it so I've just set my bush pot here on the table for a minute let it cool off enough I could get my hands on the handle and just looking down in this pot, stirring this stuff, it is not stuck to the bottom at all. It's just cooked up perfect. And of course, anytime we're going to check on our food, we got to give it the old taste test. Mm. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's get them shrimp cooked up and then on to the steak. All right, so it's time to cook up our shrimp on the coals. I've got my folding stainless skillet right here. We've got our garlic in there. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a nice amount of butter to cook this up in. And I'm just going to add in my shrimp. All right. And, of course, I'm going to squeeze some of this lemon juice in here. And for appearance, I'm just going to throw a couple of these little lemon wedges in here. We're going to take this over to the fire and get these things cooked up. So what I'm going to do is just take some of these coals and lay them out here on the ground. I've got a nice bed of embers there. So I'm just set my skillet right on that. It's a little bit too hot. It's a hot day already and it's a little too hot to work inside that fire pit ring. So this is the way we can do this. Butter's already starting to melt. And I think this will be an easier way to control my heat and be able to get to my pan. So while that gets hot, I'm gonna just put the lid on it We'll give it a second and we'll come back. These shrimp will cook up nice and quick. All right, so it's been just a couple more minutes. Oh yeah, man, those things are done. This looks great. I cannot tell you how good that garlic and lemon and butter with a little bit of shrimp mixed in. That stuff smells amazing. I'm tempted to just eat shrimp first. <laughs> I gotta be patient though. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off the coals and then we're gonna get ready and cook this steak up. Fantastic. Man, can you guys smell that stuff? Man, that smells good. Can't wait. All right, so I've gone ahead and taken my shrimp out of the skillet here. All that stuff's being stored in this stainless bowl, just covering it with my plate here. And inside my skillet, I've gone ahead and added the broiler rack. This is the new Pathfinder stainless broiler rack. It's made exactly for this skillet. And the advantage of this is, while I'm gonna set my skillet on a bed of coals, just like I did with my shrimp, I'm now gonna be able to put coals on the lid of this skillet as well as it has a rim on it and we'll be able to put coals on it just like you would a dutch oven and having that meat lifted up that piece of steak it could be a chicken breast fish whatever you wanted to cook you're going to have it lifted up off to the bottom of the pan so it doesn't burn but you're also going to be applying heat downward so it's a very efficient way to cook something like a steak or chicken breast or whatever because you're cooking both from the top and the bottom so this will be a good chance for you guys to see this broiler rack in action how it works and uh see if it's something that might be useful for you let's go ahead and get the steak out in the pan and on the coals. All right, so here's our steak wrapped in bacon. Let's get that on the coals. All right, so I'm just going to get some more coals out here, add it on. Now, I'm going to put 
place some coals all around the lid. Tell you what, that fire pit is some kind of hot. Can't hardly really stand to put your hand over top of it. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a little bit and we'll see how this does. All right, so it's been a couple more minutes, so let's check our steak once again. I'm gonna try not to make a disaster. Oh man, look at that. That is beautiful. I'm thinking that this steak might be about ready. Oh, that is some kind of beautiful right there. And the smell, I just can't tell you guys how good that smells. I think it's pretty much there. So I've gone ahead and dumped the coals off my lid here. I'm just laid that up there for another minute or so. And I think this steak is gonna be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and I can actually lift this skillet. That handle is still cool, even though that skillet's super hot. I'm gonna just take the whole skillet over to the table. We're gonna let our steak rest a few minutes and we're gonna plate this thing up. All right, so I got the steak over to the table. Just let you guys have a better look at that thing. Oh man, that is perfect. Can you hear that? that grease from the bacon dripping down in the skillet. Won't be fun to clean the skillet, but man, this steak is gonna be some kind of good. All right, so after a little bit of work, we are ready to put this meal together. I had just set my rice on some coals over there, kind of warm that back up. So we're gonna lay a bed of this rice here out on the plate. No need to go light, we got plenty of rice. All right, here comes the flies. And now, we're gonna come over here and grab this steak. Oh man, that thing's still sizzling. What I'm gonna do is grab hold of my shrimp over here. This stuff is still warm in the bowl. Rice is a little bit sticky. I'm gonna pull some shrimp out. A little bit of that butter sauce. Get some of that garlic right up here with the steak. A little bit of that butter on the steak there. Oh man. All right. Of course, it would not be Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen without the official meal reveal. And of course, we have a delicious steak wrapped in bacon on a bed of cheddar broccoli rice with a side of shrimp cooked in lemon and butter and garlic sauce. This is going to be an awesome meal fit for a king. I cannot wait. All right, so after a lot of hard work, I have a delicious meal to show for it. I'm looking forward to eating. But anytime I get to enjoy a delicious meal out in the great outdoors, I have to take just a moment to say thanks. All right, so time to give it the old taste test. Of course, shrimp and steak, how can we go wrong? So I'm gonna let you take a look here and see. I know you guys want a bite, right? Go ahead, take a bite. Mmm, that stuff looks so good. <laughs> I mean, steak wrapped in bacon cooked on a fire, how can you go wrong? Of course, I know you guys want to try one of these shrimp. I'm going to bring that up here. Go ahead, take a bite. I wish you could. Mm, that is so good. Once again, that really tastes like something you could get at a restaurant somewhere. Maybe a seafood restaurant, some gourmet place. That lemon and garlic come together perfect. It gives a little bit of a, a little bit of a zing to it. But yeah, you got all the flavor of that garlic. Not overpowering. Mmm. I hate to brag on my own cooking, but man, this is some kind of good. Mm. I don't know that the shrimp isn't better than the steak, to be honest. Of course, I love seafood anyway, so I'm kind of a seafood guy. I don't eat steak all the time, but I really enjoy it when I do. And especially when it's in camp. Mm. 
So I'm not gonna keep torching you guys out here eating steak and shrimp, enjoying this beautiful scout camp with this beautiful warm spring weather that we're enjoying today. But I did wanna take just a minute to thank you for your time and interest and for tuning in to these episodes of Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. I hope if nothing else, this gives you some inspiration so that you can get out into your favorite camp or out into the wilderness and enjoy doing some good camp cooking. Don't forget that if you have your own favorite camp recipe, make sure to submit it to the email address listed down below, and that'll get your recipe into our data bank that I pull from every time I come out to film an episode of Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. Once your recipe's entered, it never is pulled out until the time that I may choose it to prepare here on the show. And when I do use your recipe, of course, you'll be winning a care package from Self-Reliance Outfitters with all of the Pathfinder gear that I use to prepare that recipe. So, so make sure to go ahead and submit that over. It's a win-win. I get a chance to enjoy your favorite recipe and you get a chance to win free outdoor cooking gear. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to visit my personal channel here on YouTube, Black Hat Bushcraft. I'd be honored if you go over and take a look. I have instructional videos, bushcrafting, camp cooking, all kinds of stuff. Go over and give me a, a look at Black Hat Bushcraft. And of course, on behalf of all of us here at Self-Reliance Outfitters, we appreciate your time, your support. Make sure to click that subscribe button so you'll stay notified of all of our upcoming videos, instructional videos, and episodes of Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. And I will look forward to talking to you guys again very soon with the next episode. Until that one, you guys take care, be safe. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.